What's up, YouTube? I'm your brother, Rather. This is KRT Life, KRT Life with the Y, and this is 5 and 5. I have a red key and a Hellcat. I don't know how this happened, but it did. I don't know anything about this car, but we're about to find out together. What makes a Hellcat so special? Is it the air intakes in places you would expect headlights? Is it the hood vents that actually vent air? Maybe it's the brakes that feel better than that of Lamborghini. Most people will say it's this blower. Yeah, this insane blower on top of the motor. But could the answer be inside? Could it be this instrument cluster and its astonishing array of features? Like a cat that greets you at the front door. And another screen that informs you of a major key alert. It's the DJ Khaled feature, lets you know what color the key is. This one's red. Maybe it's because this screen is connected to a bigger and more complex screen that vaguely reminds me that 700 horsepower waiting for me. 700 horsepower and an eight speed gearbox. If I was an alien and somebody told me this car had 700 horses, I would probably start looking for them. But would I stop and think, what does one person do with 700 horses? Maybe that in itself is the definition of the Hellcat. All the above, and let's just add 700 plus horses to the equation. I've come to find that a Challenger is a Challenger, but the Hellcat is a Hellcat. So what can you do with 700 horsepower on the street? Let's find out. All right, so right now I'm driving a 700 horsepower 2016 Dodge Hellcat Challenger. The brakes so far seem really firm, really good. The ride is really firm as well. Now we're in sport mode. Let's see what sport mode in the Hellcat is all about. So we're going into a turn. Oh my goodness, we're going to the turn in the Hellcat. <laughs> so coming out this stop, I'm gonna kinda see what it can do. This isn't my car, so I'm not gonna do anything too crazy, but I'm just kinda curious. <laughs> it literally like just loses traction like immediately. That's what the traction control on? No, it's off me. It's yeah, it, it, it warns you to see our Oh gosh, I'm just like, God, I was like, it just spun out for no reason. Wow, okay, 700 horsepower on the street. Can you really put that 700 horsepower down? Okay, so right now we're doing a slow roll. We're going about 40-ish miles per hour, and I'm gonna give it a little gas just to kind of see what it feels like once I see what's on the other side of this hill. So now we're on the other side of the hill, I'm giving it a little gas. Oh my God, <laughs> that's like, yeah, that's way faster than the Tesla. <laughs> and I'm just like barely even touching the gas because you know, this is, this is not my car. And I've seen Doug DeMero almost crash a Hellcat doing a test on it, so I'm not trying to be that guy. Like the ride's not, harsh like a 911 harsh but you can definitely feel the stiffness of the suspension but these seats are so plush that it's like it's still a really comfortable car to drive all right now traction control is back on so now we know that we're safe to some degree when you're driving one of these cars there's a blind spot and then the hump from the rear wheels also gets in the mirror so i mean your your mirror is like this big and then it's already cut in half because of the blind spot and then it's cut down more from the rear arch of the wheel wheel so it's not really easy to see out the back of this car at all. Let's see what this is all about. We got a little straight shot, so we're gonna give it a go. Oh my goodness. And I'm not even really like hitting it that fast, and it's like roaring at me. So on the highway driving this Hellcat, the exhaust is loud, it's not overbearingly loud, but it's one of those things that you would kind of have to be about that life to really enjoy it. It's not like, you know, you have like some really cheap like exhaust off of, I don't know what kind of car you want to name, but any kind of car, but the exhaust is definitely loud. It's definitely noticeable. It's not a quiet ride by far. I honestly feel like a car like this still can't enjoy it properly on the road because it's so much power. Like you, you can't use it unless you're on a track. All right, we're gonna see how fast we get up to 55. pretty fast I think we got the 55 in about 10 seconds <laughs> Wow 
I think that, you know, I think my dad would like this car a lot. <laughs> <laughs> then there's other parts of this car that really surprised me. Like the technology that's in the, that's under this plastic dash is crazy. Like you can you have your G-Force monitor, you have your reaction time monitor, you have all these different modes that you can customize in this car. You can customize the transmission. Um, what else can you customize? The suspension. Oh, you can do the suspension customization. Like the the amount of tech toys that you can play with in this vehicle is just like crazy. Like I would sit in the parking deck all day playing with this if this was my car. Okay, so you can go into a page on the browser on the dash and you can actually turn your horsepower down to 500, which is, I guess, reasonable maybe? I don't know. These seats are like, I don't know, like it's like your favorite big fluffy couch that you just want to sit on and like go to sleep and take a nap. The seats are amazing and they're heated and vented and the vents work great. Like I mean, right now I'm wearing denim jeans and I can feel the air pushing through my jeans. It's like, it's amazing. It's, it's extremely comfortable. It's cooling and it's comforting. When you're driving something as terrifying as a, as a Hellcat, you need comforting seats to comfort you in those moments of terror when you're going down the highway at 55 miles per hour, like this. I'm terrified, but I'm so comfortable. Wow, so we just finished driving this 2016 Challenger Hellcat and I kind of underestimated this car. I'm not really sure why I underestimated a 700 horsepower car, but for some reason I did. So what do I think about this car? Let's do a little recap. Pedigree. This car has a massive amount of pedigree. It goes back to the 70s when the first generation uh, Challengers came out and then the 80s there was another integration and this is the latest version, the uh, 2016 Hellcat. So pedigree gets a full point for that. Cost, these cars are kind of pricey. You, they cost about $70,000, but you get a lot of tech, you get a lot of performance, and a lot of comfort in one package. That is an amazing package for that price, I think. The gas mileage, on the other hand, is pretty bad, but I mean, what else would you expect from a 700 horsepower car? So that kind of comes with the expectation of the vehicle. Um, reliability seems to be pretty good, but these cars are still fairly new, so I don't know if there's a lot of user data out there to really support that claim, but overall, the reliability of these vehicles is very good. Drivability, on the other hand, is amazing. Like, the car pulls through all the gears, it's comfortable, the suspension has a lot of different settings that you can utilize and change and customize. So drivability is very good. The only thing I had to knock about drivability is the fact that when you're making turns, there's a massive blind spot in this vehicle that I don't know how you would get around it. There's a sensor system built into the vehicle to prevent you from getting into an accident, but that blind spot can be kind of scary when you're making left and right turns. And, um, so yeah, that's pretty much drivability. Outside of that, curb appeal. What Do I think that the 2016 Challenger Hellcat has curb appeal? I think this vehicle has massive amounts of curb appeal. I always liked this vehicle. When I saw the concept version of this vehicle, I immediately thought, they're gonna sell a lot of these. And consequently, they did sell a lot of these. And then when the Hellcat and the Demon came out, they sold even more. So does it does have curb appeal? Absolutely, it's a beautiful car, it looks good. The tire package is amazing, the lighting package is amazing, it sounds great, the sound system is phenomenal in this car. This one actually has an upgraded Harman Kardon uh, twin sub set setup in the trunk, so I mean it will really blast your eardrums out. It's an amazing vehicle, if you get the opportunity or the privilege to drive one or own one of these, I say absolutely jump on it, and it's a great car. I give it a 4 out of 5. This is KRT Life, KRT Life with a Y, 5 and 5. Check us out. We review lots of cool cars. We do lots of things on the YouTubes. And uh, yeah, we're out here doing things. So check us out. KRT Life. Peace. Wow, SRT Hellcat. Now, I wish the steering wheel was a little bit more special looking. Like, I like the flappy uh, pedal shifters. How do we use the shifter real quick? Let's see what this is. Uh, shifter pedal is a street car. How do I go to the street? I'm so confused. <laughs> See, it's it's so much going on. Pedal but... shifter. Rep... So Weird. those side got power transmission pedal shift. Okay. Is that what you want to turn on? Yeah. Uh, so you, you turn them on. See right there in the middle? Right here? Yep. Wow. Come on, man. It's like... It's now it's on in, uh, in the street mode. Okay. So now I can use the pedal, pedal shifter. Yep. Wow. It so why don't you, why, don't you, why don't you have it set up like that normally? 
You just don't like it like that? No, by default, it's like it does that. It oh, okay, got you, got you. So gotcha. sports mode is on and track mode is on, but by default, street mode parachutes off. Got you. Okay. So when you turn the car off, turn back on, you want to turn the parachute on in street mode, you got to turn on manually. Wow. So you can't save it as a default mode? You can customize it as a default mode. Okay, so it can be a, it'll be a custom default mode right. inside. Wow. There's a lot going on in this car. Like, y'all definitely need to try driving one of these. It's, it's, it's a lot nicer than I thought. So now I can go back. Yep. Hit the back button. Okay, so now I can use the paddle shifters. Yep. But the speed is there. The fun is there. The sound is amazing. Oh, paddle shifts. Oh, hold on. Did it just go out of paddle shift yeah, mode on its own? Out. 